So Disney's getting a little bit of backlash today. Apparently, they've made some changes to a popular greeting where they used to say, welcome, boys and girls of all ages. That's now been changed to uh, welcome dreamers of all ages. It's just one of many woke moves. They outline them all right here. Disney World has changed. It's the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls greeting with one of the with one that says, good evening, dreamers of all ages. The new greeting made its debut during the Happily Ever After fireworks show. It sparked negative reactions online from Disney World regulars. Now, that's a big deal because those are the people that go a lot and spend the most money, like a park pass holder and stuff like that. Uh, the Jungle Cruise ride at Magic Kingdom in Disneyland, California, was updated after claims the ride was racially and culturally insensitive. When Disneyland reopened, the park debuted a revamped version of the famed Snow White ride, but faced backlash for featuring the true love's kissing. Yep, I remember when that happened. That was incredibly stupid. It's a fairy tale. It's been around for a long time. How's the prince supposed to wake her up then? Is he supposed to slap her across the face? It's just another, it's another example of just nothing ever being enough. And I'm so tired of going back into the past and changing things. You know, they slap labels all over older movies now. You want to sit down, you want to watch a movie from the 90s? Guess what? You're going to have to look at a trigger warning. And at the end of the day, is it a big deal to have to see some disclaimer before a movie? Or even that they change this from, you know, boys and girls to dreamers of all ages. By itself, not really. But it's all of these changing. To me, this is... Bending of the knee after bending of the knee after bending of the knee. And it didn't need to happen. But once you start doing it once, it happens again and again. Because once once the mob sees that you're weak and that you'll bend the knee, they're going to keep coming back. Well, you did it last time. How about you do it again? So here's some more. Disney Plus streaming services have slapped the warnings on some of its most Iconic movies, including Peter Pan and The Jungle Book. That that old offensive Peter Pan movie. Boy, I remember when that movie came out. Actually, I don't. <laughs> this is a little before my time, but theoretically. I remember when that movie came out and everybody walked out offended. Uh, some content on Disney Plus now has a disclaimer that reads, this program includes neg negative depictions and or mistreatment of other people's cultures. So this one seems to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Look at this. This is offensive to people. She's uh, in an eternal slumber. I'm sure the first thing that she's going to do when she wakes up from eternal slumber is get mad that this dude who is her true love kissed her. You know, it's funny. Most of these people will never know true love. The <laughs> people that get offended at all this shit. Most of them, uh, if they even make it to 70 or 80, I'm sure that they're going to be alone in some place. I don't know where they're going to be living, but I'm sure nobody's going to be with them. They're not going to have any kids, so there's going to be nobody coming around visiting them. It's going to be a sad, sad life, to be honest. But here, here's some of the outrage from people. Uh, okay, sorry, Disney, but that's absurd. I honestly didn't see anything, not a single thing wrong with that saying before. Like, what the hell is wrong with saying ladies and gents or boys and girl? Please, somebody tell me, shaking my damn head. Seriously? Pirates, Splash Mountain, Jungle Cruise, now this too? I just wish the pendulum would hurry up and swing the other way. I'm so tired of this extremist way of thinking and being overly sensitive to everything. This person says, utter garbage. Another comment here. People and companies really need to stop changing everything that was originally made, discussed, or founded on just because of what it was discussed or founded on just because people cry and moan. These things were in place Way before the new gen of babies were, there is no way in hell to cater to everyone who wants. And that guy's 100% right. That's why it'll never be enough. Because once one person gets offended, 
you know, somebody else is going to find something else offended. And then somebody after that person is going to find something offended. And then at what point do you stop and you say, like, we can't possibly please all of these people. What the hell are we going to do? They're never going to learn because they're never going to stop. Disney, and, and to be honest, like, none of this is going to affect their bottom line. You know, they've made so many mistakes and pissed off so many people, but nothing has affected them. I just, I, I think they're just going to keep on going until, until they do really something that just pisses everybody off. Uh, one surefire way that is going to really hurt them is if they keep pumping out generic, uncreative garbage for their entertainment. That will hurt. That will hurt. Uh, Loki kind of a, a very mundane in my opinion kind of a boring show not uh not overly woke or anything but just not very well written in my opinion uh falcon and the winter soldier kind of an average show wandavision really fell apart at the end uh black widow is being marketed on woke on woke stuff uh eternals doesn't look very good Spider-Man No Way Home, I mean, we'll see. That movie will probably be a colossal hit if Toby and Andrew are in that film. But, you know, the Marvel movies are where they're going to make all their money. We'll see what happens, you know. Star Wars kind of taking a beating. So, I don't know. When are people just going to stop supporting Disney, I guess, is the real question. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.